Hello everyone, Elite Cameraman here. Boom finally released the secret scenes for episode 72, and they are both goofy and mysterious at the same time. I'm a little late to uploading this video because I was sleeping and dreaming about TV Woman, but don't worry. I'll go over every single detail in the secret scenes and about who the mysterious cameraman in the background is. And on top of this, I got some exclusive info from Mr. Boom about episode 73, which I'll share at the end of the video, so watch until the end. And while we are at the topic of subscriptions, Mr. Boom reached a crazy milestone of 40 million subscribers, which I'll probably never reach. But that's not the important topic because for the celebration, Boom posted a short GIF on his community page with almost all the characters in episode 72 present with some additional characters. As you can see, we can clearly see the Titans and G-Man and the special agents hanging out, but there are three characters here that we probably didn't expect to see. First, we see Plunger Cameraman and Dark Speaker Man in this GIF, both who are supposed to be dead. We can literally see the Plunger Cameraman looking sad next to Camera Woman, who is also looking sad while almost everyone else is dancing. I wonder if this was intentional and has a deeper meaning, because while this is happening, we see Dark Speaker Man dancing away. But that's not all, because in the background, we see a cameraman on the mountain. I assume this is the same mysterious cameraman that we kept seeing in episode 72 in the background watching the battle, and he is most likely one of Secret Agents. Agents. We'll talk about him more, but the craziest part of this gif was Secret Agent mogging us, bro. bye bye us with the mogger emote. Secret Agent truly has been mewing all this time, and that's why he rarely speaks. Anyways, now that we got all that out of the way and been mogged by Secret Agent, we can start analyzing the secret scenes. After the episode 72 ends and Titan Cameraman says for Plunger, we see him instantly leave the battleground and will assume that the other Titans went with him also. We don't know who they are going after, but it's most likely G-Man Toilet and not the Astro Toilets. And with the last state the G-Man Toilet was in, he might have to plan something big very fast because the Titans are really mad. After the Titans leave, the scientist mech cameraman hears teleportation sounds, so he decides to look to his right and see two TV man, the scientist, and the large TV man looking at one of Claw Astro Toilet's arms that was cut, and they start speaking about it according to the subtitles scientist TV man says, take it to our lab, while pointing at the claw arm, and large TV man responds with, it's bigger than Titan's sword. But you might ask, what sword? Does he mean Titan TV Man's blade or something we haven't seen yet? Actually, it's neither. And if you know, you know. And if you don't know, oh boy, you are in for a ride when I reveal what he actually said. After this, he teleports the claw arm while the scientist TV Man says confidential. But you and I both know that after what happened in episode 72, part 2, this wasn't what they said. And oh God, I still cannot believe what the large TV Man said even while writing this video. What the scientist TV man said at first was fine compared to what the large TV man said, because from what I heard, scientist TV man started by saying, take this bitch to the lab. And our buddy, large TV man, replied with, this shit is longer than Titan's cock. Here you go, listen to it and reverse yourself. Get this bitch to the lab. This shit is longer than Titan's cock. Oh hell nah bruh, no way bro said that. I need Boom to confirm or deny if this is true because I really do hear it. And bro, how does he know how big it is? Did he see it? When did he see it? And why did he see it? I guess if Scientist Toilet got clapped for real, he really would have exploded. After this, thankfully, the Scientist TV Man says confidential, and they teleport away because TV Man really don't have a filter. And Boom making subtitles and the real voiceovers different is mad crazy. After they teleport, we can see Titan Cameraman's old arm on the ground. And who knows, maybe that was smaller than Titan's quote-unquote sword. Suddenly, POV Cameraman hears some noise from his left and starts walking towards it and hear a couple different things happen. First of all, Bro can walk on fire and his cloths don't burn and only his camera gets affected a little bit. But if you look carefully to the top of the mountain, we can actually see a cameraman with a flashlight on watching us. This is not the first time this has happened in episode 72, because in episode 72, part 1, we actually saw a cameraman watching from far away when the POV cameraman was about to kill the police mutant toilet and G-Man toilet rammed in, 
These two cameramen are most likely the same, and he 99% teleported there to watch the battle from far away, and we all know that he is a mint cameraman that's one of Secret Agent's cameraman. But something is weird, and I do think it was intentional. If you watch it from the start of when the POV cameraman was right before he got into the fire, you can see that the more he goes into the fire, the more visible the mint cameraman becomes, and the second he leaves, it becomes invisible. The camera glitch didn't happen because of the mint cameraman, because there were no errors on the right top. It happened because of the fire, and I think different light conditions, and the camera being glitched because of the heat, made it so that the scientist cameraman saw the mint cameraman, and it was recorded and transmitted. It is very likely that the detective cameraman in episode 70's Secret Scenes saw this footage and is already trying to solve the mystery. Because if we look back at episode 70 part 1's ending, we saw the mint cameraman invisible in the elevator only when the lights were out and the flashlights were on. Maybe being invisible doesn't make them invisible all the time and only in certain lighting conditions. Who knows? I may also be yapping, but I do think that it's plausible and I'm pretty sure about the heat theory. After this, the POV cameraman continues on his way just to see the upgraded Strider camera struggling with all the damage he took and give a thumbs up. Hopefully medic cameraman arrive at the scene to fix him. Now we gotta talk about the exclusive info about episode 73. After asking Boom about the quote-unquote large sword, he gave me some confidential info which I cannot share, but alongside this, he also gave me some exclusive info about episode 73. And he said, It'll be two parts once again, but it'll most likely come out faster than episode 72 did. Which means we might get to see part one in a week and part two in two weeks from now. And he also mentioned that episode 74 will most likely be one part. Make sure to like this video and subscribe.